If you're living in an environment where there is a lot of substance use or substance abuse, it's really hard to change. It's really hard to get better. Lots of kids that I work with are trying to change their lives, but they're living in situations where there is a lot of use around them. I didn't really notice Michael had a substance abuse problem because I had just relapsed myself. But I was spiraling into my own sort of hell. I was a workaholic, I was in legal proceedings, health issues. And unfortunately, in addiction, the family doesn't become the primary concern anymore. And when he hit 15, we began to use together. If you're in a situation where that's a big factor, you have more to deal with. Usually in situations like that, there's lots of conflict, there's lots of drama, there's lots of stress. That adds complications to recovery. There was a lot of unhappy years in there, you know, um, a lot for her and for me. Um, a lot of crazy years. Yeah. It's like a roller coaster ride, really. Um, what else can you expect from a house of drugs, right? Lots of parents feel guilty about all sorts of things, so they end up enabling their kids to, to continue to use, or enabling them to not have to face the consequences of their actions. All of those things complicate our recovery and make where we're going much more difficult. I can imagine that a lot of people, especially when they hear that me and my mom used together, are thinking, oh my God, what is, that is so wrong, right? It's certainly been hard because of some of the things that have happened, but I wouldn't have rather had it any other way, you know? Even though all of this has happened when it comes down to it, she still is my mom and I still am her son.